Hi everyone, welcome to another free family art project. I'm Autumn, the education coordinator for Studio 23. Um, today I thought we would draw um, a picture inspired by Wanda Desuera's artwork. If you tuned in with Tara earlier, you saw Wanda's uh, painting and you heard a little, a little bit about her and her love for sailing and for sailboats. So I thought I would walk you through step-by-step step, um, how to draw a sailboat. Um, for this project, all you're gonna need is some paper, a pencil, and whatever you would like to color it in with. I'm using chalk pastels. You could easily use oil pastels, crayons, markers, watercolor, whatever you'd like. All right, so to get started today, we're gonna do our paper portrait, not landscape, but portrait, all right? And of course, if you've watched any other drawing demos with me, you know I really like to fold my paper in half, both widthwise and lengthwise. So I have these little quadrants. It helps when I'm trying to draw and when I'm trying to explain, if I can say, oh, the top quadrants or the bottom quadrants. All right. So to get started here, let's see. I'll leave this this way so you can see. Let's see, can you see it? Yep. All right, there we go. All right, to get started, we're gonna draw the bottom of this sailboat. We're gonna draw that part right down here, okay? Now to do that, we're gonna go down into what would be the bottom quadrants, right? And we're gonna go down, I'll probably say, hmm, about three fingers width for me, okay? And we're gonna go maybe about to the middle and we're gonna do a small little curved line. Just curve down like that. We're gonna make a straight line across. Going in roundabouts to halfway, maybe not quite halfway of this other quadrant. We're gonna make another curved line. And then we're, this line down here is gonna be wavy because that's where gonna, gonna be where our water hits our boat. And it doesn't have to be super wavy, just to give the idea that it's water. All right, let's see. Next, we wanna start with the sails, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, well, I think we'll do our line right in our fold, okay? We'll do a line starting from our boat, and we'll go probably a little more than halfway up this top quadrant right here. So we're gonna do just a straight line. Now, if you, if you don't get a straight line the first time, you can just kind of sketch it in. Because remember, we are coloring this. So you should be able to color right over it. If you're a little concerned about getting that straight line. All right, so we got our, our line for our sail. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create this triangle shape right here. All right, and we want to make sure that this line is nice and curved, okay? And then that this line right here is straight. So we're just gonna go down to probably about here. We don't want it to go over the sailboat, so probably meet right up with it. And then we're gonna go right in, so. Curved line, straight line. And you should end up with this sort of triangle shape. Just like that, all right? So now we wanna move on to this other part of the sail right here. And that is simply a smaller triangle shape. And we're gonna basically do it the same way, I'll show you. So we're gonna do a curved line going out this way now. And remember, we don't want it to go past the bow. All right, do our straight line. But now we actually do need to make an inside line because if you look on the original, that sail does not touch our line in the middle like the other one does. And that's just a curved line starting at the bottom. Curve 
curving to the top. So just a curved line all the way. All right, so here is where we are so far with our sailboat. All right, let's see. Next we wanna do, we're gonna do a little line up here because we're gonna put our little flag up here, okay. And for that, it's just we're gonna do a straight line for our flagpole. And then we're gonna do a type of uh, zigzag shape. I'm just doing a little bit of a zigzag shape, just like this. That's gonna be our flag. And we want it to look like our flag has movement, that it's moving through the wind, and that's why we're doing this zigzag shape. And then we're just gonna copy it and go right back the same way, just like that. All right, so we have our sailboat, we have our little flag on top. Let's see, what else do we need? Um, well, let's see, let's give ourselves a tree line and we'll do that probably about a finger or two fingers above our, our fold line right here, okay? So let's see, you just wanna do a straight line across And remember, if you're worried about getting a straight line, go ahead and sketch it in. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna color, okay? All right, so we have our tree line, and then I think we need to give ourselves some tree nets, some trees, excuse me, next. So you could do um, just a basic zigzag line like I kind of done here. If you look at the original, you can see I just kind of have some various like zigzags here. You can try and make it look a little more tree-like, it's up to you. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do some zigzag shapes, just to keep it simple for you. All right, so we have our zigzag shapes, and then we're gonna put some triangles in the middle here too, because these are, our, these are gonna be our trees in the background. All right, so we have, our, we have our sailboat, we have our water, we have our background going on. Let's see, what else do we need? Um, you could do some clouds if you wanted in the sky, that would be pretty easy. And what, what you'd probably wanna do is um, start off with a kind of a straight line on the bottom, and then just have the top of your cloud be the puffy part. And you could do the same thing over here straight line and that's a very very easy way to draw clouds or you don't even have to draw clouds if you don't want to in the original I was messing around with color and um, I think I ended up going right over my clouds so however you want to do it completely up to you all right let's see um, you could also put some waves in the water to give the idea of movement in the water but again, you don't have to. All right, other than that, I think we're ready to get coloring. Um, I'm gonna be using chalk pastels. Let's see. This is just some basic art, uh, excuse me, chalk pastels. Um, oil pastels would work, crayons would work great. Um, colored pencils, pretty much anything you wanna use. So, We're just gonna start coloring it in really quickly. And I'm sure you're gonna take your time coloring it in. Now, if you just had regular chalk at home, you could try to use it as well. I'm sure it would work. Um, I love using chalk because you can blend it. If you've watched videos with me before, you've seen how you can blend it. Let's see, we'll do the sail. And if it's a big space, I love that you can use chalk like a shader and it covers a lot in a little bit of time. So I absolutely love using chalk. Chalk pastels, chalk in general. My sail's gonna be yellow. You could make your ship, 
excuse me, your sailboat look exactly how you would like. Um, you could even put like a pattern on the sail. You could do a lot of fun things with it. So go ahead and get creative with it. All right, color in our water really quickly. I'm just gonna use a light blue. And again, um, I'm gonna use it like a shader to make it go faster. See, look how fast that goes. I love it. I love how fast it goes. All right. I'm going to go ahead and color in the trees really quickly. So what I'll do, I think, is I'll use a darker green for the trees in front. And then those little trees we drew in the back, I'll make those lighter. Just so we can kind of add... A sense of depth in our picture. Shave that, blend that in. And you can find um, chalk pastels pretty much anywhere online. They're inexpensive. I think I've even found them at places like Five Below. So could we add other other boats too? Absolutely, yes. Uh, do a tugboat. And let's see how it looks, Al. I want you to add a tugboat in there and let's see. <laughs> All right. Blend that in. All right, I'm gonna go in with a little light green now. Like I said, for the trees that are behind there. And then I'm gonna blend it in. All right, and then for the sky, if you look at my original, I was messing around with the colors. I was thinking, oh, like a sunset might be nice, but you know, you could really make it any color. I think for the sake of just time, I will just make my sky a, a light blue color. But if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know that I always talk about that skies are not always blue. They're oftentimes all different colors, orange, purple, pink, yellow. Blending it in. Oh, I lost my music. Alexa, play Debussy. Shuffling songs by Claude Debussy on Amazon Music. All right, I got my sky, got my clouds. The only other thing that I think that you could add how are chalk pastels different from regular chalk? Much more pigment. They're made specifically for artists. So um, if you, let's say we had um, a box of Crayola uh, chalk right here, it wouldn't be this pigmented at all. Not to say that um, Crayola isn't a good product, but it's just not made for artists. So that would be the difference, Mark. But great question, thank you. Um, and then the only other thing you could do if you wanted is I was messing around with the idea of a reflection down here at the bottom. And if that's something you wanted to do, you could easily do it. Just grab the colors that you used for your sailboat and you're just gonna draw the, it's basically a, just a mirror image of, um, of your sailboat. So instead of having your curved lines going down, it's gonna be going out. 
still do your horizontal line. And you can color it in a little bit, but since it's a reflection, and you, you know, you're really gonna blend it out a lot. And then take your yellow and just sort of create the idea of reflection of your sail down here. And then blend it out a lot. You wanna super blend this part. All right. Oh, and we forgot to color in our little flag, so don't forget that. You wanna make sure you have your flag colored in up here. Any color you want. If it was big enough, you could even put a little design on it. All right, and I think we're good. I think we're done. There is our sailboat drawing. Pretty easy, right? Um, so it's, it's not even a nice day out today. So what excuse do you even have? Sit down with your paper and something to color with and draw this awesome sailboat and share it with us so we can see how creative you guys are getting. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and uh, Val is up next. We'll see you later. Bye.